Tommy Tellerico Studios. Chupacabra, your sack over by the door. Oh, that. That is my bag lunch. Duckman, look at the time. Your television show is on now. So it is. That reminds me. I really should check in with the studio one of these weeks and uh, let them know where I am in case they want to, uh, well, I don't know, film some new episodes or something silly like that. This just doesn't seem right, does it? The TV isn't on, silly swilly. Uh, exactly what I was thinking. I wonder where the remote control is. It's a book of magic. Why, if I weren't having the time of my life floating in a lap of luxury and other people's drippings, I'd walk over and take a closer look at them. Ah, the sweet and innocent Tiffany. Pure as the driven snow. Sweet as sunshine on a field of marigold. Tender as a... Hey, are you talking to me? Because you just paid for a little tub splashing. If you want the free Willy special, cough up some cash. Oh, nice talk. 
Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Who do you think taught me the uvula groove? When it comes to describing your beauty, Valencia, words fail me. I used to have a problem with other things failing, but now all I have to do is visualize a Charlie's Angel sandwich, and I get all fancy in my fancy. Tiffany, last night was amazing. I felt like a greased up pig let loose in a giant carnal cancer. <laughs> Sounds wild. Next time you should try it with a partner. Valencia, come here, you wild, untamed, uninhibited, gushing, moist fountain of funky lust. You haven't uttered a peep since I peeped your audits. Jace, Mr. Duckman? I need a refill, you hairy falafel! But of course! I want the remote control for the television now! Aye. Well, why didn't you just say so? Uh, let's see. The Yarn Network. Menendez Brothers Comedy Hour, Sandy Duncan Retrospective. Ah, here we go. The good old USA Network. Wow, that was pretty great. The new Duckman rescued that whole school bus full of liver disease orphans from the evil clutches of King Chicken, and then found every one of them a donor liver. Not only that, but then the new Duckman checked them all into a charity hospital that he built himself, completely with recycled materials. He is truly extraordinary. After that, he helped me with my homework and then replaced the transmission in an old person's car. It was a Volvo. I do what I can, family. There's only one planet, and I feel compelled to make it a better place to live. Curse you, new duck man. You're unbeatable. I miss the old duck man. He was a weak simpleton. Now, now, King Chicken. No more of your super villainous sour grapes. Say, Duckman, who's that sexy stack of sticky buns storming on your show? I, I, I have no idea. There's got to be some kind of mistake. Uh, it's getting late, kids. Everyone off to bed now. The new Duckman and I have an old bird that needs stuffing. <laughs> Who is this joker moving in on my family? Clearly he's insane! He's Frenching Bernice! It's time for you to leave Mr. Former, somebody. This suite is reserved for real celebrities. Replacing me on my own show might just be the studio's way of freeing me up so I can do feature films! I better go to Paramount and get to the bottom of this. Duckman was suffering from a serious case of denial. He couldn't believe that ignoring his career had cost him his television series. It was clearly time for my crime-fighting partner to be on the receiving end of a very rude and slightly painful wake-up call. Let me in, you hairy clump of fudge! Go away! The spot is closed, especially to flabby about husbands like Duckman and John Denver, so shoo, shoo, shoo! I've had enough of this, you Caribbean cretin! Let me in now, you celebrity wannabe! <laughs> I don't think so. Mr. He is a headline from a newspaper printed far too long ago. You should walk your ugly slug body away from here. I need to get in there, you international flavor of the month! I forgot my voluminous listing of Hollywood starlets whose maracas I've taken to shaking. If you mean the two telephone numbers scribbled on the back of a cocktail napkin from Wing Fuzz House of Fun, I wiped my skinny butt with it. Ha! Keep guffawing, island boy. I have friends in high places, you know. Well, actually, I uh, know a lifeguard who works in one of those really high towers. Well, taking a walk is a pretty good idea, Julio. I think I'll take a walk down to the immigration office and see if there's a finder's fee for turning you in. Uh, hold on, I'm opening the door. Ha! 
faker, fraud. The only way you could get here was to trick your way in, Mr. Nobody. Now go away before I get 16th century renaissance on your feathery butt. I'm having a bad day, Julio. Shouldn't you be meeting Paul Simon down by the schoolyard? It's a book of matches, and it's mine! All mine! Those are for guests of the spa only. Listen, fancy pants, do you realize how much I tipped you while I was a guest here? Yes, I do, and I put it in the parking meter this morning. Use that with him? I wouldn't touch him with a ten-foot pole! Of course, if I had a ten-foot pole, I could be my own best friend, and I'd get invited to a lot of parties. It's the television remote control from the spa. I've always said that I need more control in my life. It's a book of matches. The cover has an ad for mail-order opera lessons. I guess they figure most would-be opera singers are heavy smokers. I always believe in buying American products, except when watching Baywatch is at stake. When it comes to watching jiggling flesh in high resolution, I say screw the economy, get the best set you can. Hmm, I wonder why this television isn't on. Why do they have to mount those televisions up so high? Whatever happened to trust? Besides, I tried to take one last night, and let me tell you, those puppies are bolted in tighter than Charles Grodin's hairpiece. I'll need this. I wonder if there's anything good on the tube. Uh, it's getting late, kids. Everyone off to bed now. The new duck man and I have an old bird that needs stuffing. I can't bear to see that again. You can't treat me like this, you bristly Balkan. I'm gonna clear up this whole business with the new Duckman and get my show back! Yeah, right. You and Bunny Franklin are going to be back on top any day now. Look at me. I'm holding my breath. <gasps> you can't treat me like this, you bristly... Yeah, right. You... Television is... Paramount Studios. The people who brought us Laverne and Shirley without anyone even asking for it. How will we ever thank them? Paramount Studios. Every day, thousands of people pass through these gates to create the entertainment that hundreds of people enjoy. When I was on the show, they never did anything like that to promote me. The only publicity I ever got was when there was a police raid at Chubby Dick's strip club. Let me in there, you minimum wage rent-a-cop. I have to see the CEO, pronto! Uh, name? Uh, I don't know his name. I quit trying to keep track. This studio goes through executives faster than Robert Downey Jr. goes through strangers' bedrooms. No, I meant your name. Duckman, Duckman! As in, at least I'm not John Lovitz. Isn't he annoying? Ooh, why, they told me to bring you right over, Mr. Duckman. They said as soon as you slithered up, I should bring you right over to the executive offices. So just give me a second here. Now, this is more like it. I knew there had to be a mistake. I'm still the biggest thing this studio's ever seen, since Raymond Burr died. Drive a bit slower, my good man. We have to give the common folk a good look. What? Who do you think you're dealing with? I am angry, and I will take your company. 
Let's talk business, Louis B. Shallow Pockets. In my new contract, I want more of everything. You peed in the wrong sandbox, my friend. Today's blue plate special is hot, hostile takeover on a better don't screw with me, Linguini. Hey, Juicy Fruit, I'm standing here. Let's talk. You're dreaming, you old bag of skin. When I put the word out, your stock will flush right down the old fudge bucket. Hey, I'm waiting here! Sure, I'll settle this peacefully when I own your company and you're eating out of the dumpster behind Gus's Gristle Garden! Okay, that's it! I refuse to be treated like I don't exist! Yeah, look, uh, something's come up here and I have to go. I love you, Mom! Don't forget to make Dad happy. Yes? Duckman, isn't it? The old Duckman? You know perfectly well who I am. Now, what's all this about replacing me on my show? It's a big movie deal, right? Oh, I can see it now. Duckman of Alcatraz. My dinner with Duckman. Big Bad Mama 3. No, nothing like that. You're fired! You lack talent, star appeal, and presence. Plus, your eyes aren't attached to your head. A recent poll shows that really creeps people out. I've sold off everything in your trailer to pay off your commissary bar bill, and I've assigned your parking spot to the Borg Queen. No, just a freaking minute! I don't think you realize just how much this studio needs me! I'm your money shot, I'm your ace in the hole! My partner Cornfed and I will just walk on down to WB and get a real show! <laughs> Cornfed is perfectly happy staying on the show. I'd let him out of his contract, but he has no interest in leaving. Not a chance! We're practically joined at the hip! We're like Dean and Jerry! Jerry and Ben! Ben and that freaky Michael Jackson! Cornfed would never desert me! Corny? It's true, Duckman. I'm staying with the show. It's the right thing to do. Good luck with your future. I'm not getting this. You must have drugged him or he's got the mad pig disease or something. You're wasting my time, old duck man. I've got better men than you to yank my crank if I wanted. You're through. Get out! You heard him. It's time for you to go home and weep into your lacy, silky, ladylike pink pillows. Go home, little man. I know what you're thinking. I also know what you're wearing, and you should be ashamed. But that's not important. Feeling betrayed by the studio and by me, Duckman decided to go home and be comforted by his family. Home is where the heart is. Although other parts of my anatomy would like to be elsewhere right about now. What the hell's going on around here? Who ordered this fence installed? Hey, I'm talking to you! Poster boy for the Dodge generation? Uh, freaky boy can't hear me. What the hell are you doing on my lawn? Hey, you waste of oxygen! I'm talking to you! He's a lost cause. There's bread in the oven, but the pilot lights out. Hey, what the hell is this? Oh, that's right. I snaked Sir Gablot's gum. It's a pack of Dento Fresh Chewing Gum! Each stick is individually foil wrapped for my protection. What was my dearly departed wife thinking when she willed the house and the kids to her sister Bernice? The handle broke off this sprinkler months ago. I've been meaning to fix it. I've also been meaning to finish writing my nine-hour opera glorifying the virtues of Carol Alt. It's locked. And the key is broken off in the lock. And the hinges are rusty. Locked out of my own house? Open up in there! And I mean now! Dog? Unlock the door, Ajax! I'm coming in! Aunt Bernice and the dude from the studio said you can't come in, former Dodd. Ajax? 
Do you know who ordered this fence? I can't tell you, Farmer Dodd. You can't tell me who ordered the fence, or you can't tell me if you know. Ow, oh, my brain. Hey, Jax, my boy, what are you doing out there without your winter jacket on? You'll catch your death of cold. I will? You better believe it. No son of mine is going to freeze to death on the front lawn of my house where the neighbors can point and stare more than they normally do. You come inside here right this minute, and I'll come out there and take your place. Wow. Thanks, Farmer Don. It doesn't happen often, but you are so wrong. I appreciated the old one much more. What are you talking about? The old one was all flaky and unsatisfying. You can't beat the new one. But the new one is as hard as a concrete-covered carbide steel Christmas fruitcake. Not exactly beneficial for nourishing a growing child. Hmm. You've proven your point. I cast my vote for the old one as well. Charles and Mambo, my boys! It makes my heart swell like Pamela Lee's chest near an open fire to hear that you prefer me over the new Duckman. Come give Papa a hug. For your information, Duckman, Mumbo and I were debating the differences between the original recipe and the new formula Heidi Hole Cupcakes. But I'm your father, the guy that plucked and polished you. You're the fruit of my loins. We still want to see lab results. But in the meantime, you're not even supposed to be in here. You better leave before Aunt Bernice gets home and gives you an aching purple nurple. Bernice's dear, sweet, decrepit, nearly comatose grandmama. She's our very own fountain of flatulence and a financial sinkhole. So, you two are giving me the cold shoulder as well. Is my entire family suddenly against me? What are we, the Rosenbergs? What did I ever do to deserve treatment like this? We're glad you asked. Let's see. We can break it down and give it to you by category, such as missed birthdays and holidays. Or we could show you how your combined gambling losses and the money you've wasted at strip clubs could have built a sewage treatment facility for an impoverished third world country. And we'd have to get out the projector, but we do have a chart that clearly shows that you've only actually spent a total of 32 hours and 15 minutes with us since we've been born. All right, enough already. I get the point. I guess the selective memory twins here don't remember the pony I got them for their birthday. It wasn't a pony. It was a donkey. And we had to give it back after that exotic dancer got out of jail. That's right. The amazing Ginger. She certainly was... amazing. How about you, Grandmama? Are you going to ostracize and ignore me like the others have? Pretend I don't exist? Refuse to recognize my very existence? Fine. Why should you be any different? I don't remember ever having this kind of family trouble before my television series. Come to think of it, I can't remember much of anything before my series. I wonder if... Nah. I refuse to watch television, especially since Bernice welded the channel selector to the fitness channel. Who wants to watch a bunch of fat, hairy-legged women doing yoga? Is this why God gave us television? I think not. Back off, mouse jockey! That funeral urn holds my wife's ashes. I'm sure there's some room left. It would be great if her sister Bernice were in there to keep her company. Back off, mouse jockey! That... I'm sure there's some room left. I'll need this to have even the room. Nothing goes with television like beer and Terry Hatcher low-budget movies. Nothing goes... What the hell? I can't believe this. Someone's cleaned out my bedroom and taken all my stuff. Now I'll have to borrow some stuff from George Carlin. No! I've squished my soggy directory of 1-900 Rock My Socks operators. What the hell is this supposed to be? Whose is this? It's addressed to... The new Duckman! That's just dandy. 
First he moves in on my TV show. Now he's moving in on my very own selection of pre-stained thick pile shag. The return address is KC Laboratories in Zurich. Where the hell is Zurich? Must be up near Solvang, funnel cake capital of California. Duckman, sweetie, <sighs> is that you? Bernice? Ducky, wucky, baby, baby. Bernice, is that you? Oh, I missed you so. The whole time I was at the gym doing juicy squat thrusts, you were all I could think about, my little snuggy wuggy. Now come here. Snuggy wuggy? Why, Bernice? If I wasn't so repulsed by you and didn't feel the urge to vomit up my kidney every time I see what passes for your face, I'd be flattered. Driven away my family, lost my career, and been betrayed by my best friend and partner. Ending it all is the only thing to do. Wait, I can't kill myself. This Thursday, the new Victoria's Secret catalog is due out. And damn it, Monday is Ajax's birthday. I am not going down without a fight. I screwed up, but I can win my kids back. And to hell with corn fed. I'll get a new partner. This isn't the end of Duckman. This is only the beginning. <laughs> What sort of psychedelic kaleidoscopic purgatory is this? You're at our house, Mr. Duckman. We rescued you from a most watery grave. Fluffy and Uranus. If the mere sight of you two didn't give me a double dose of shingles and rickets, I'd give you both a big questionable hug. What's wrong, Mr. Duckman? Are you kidding? My career is over. My family has deserted me and my partner has plunged a proverbial dagger deep into my proverbial back. Well, you still have us, Mr. Duckman. You exercise with us, an aerobic workout will produce natural endorphins that will make you feel oh so much better. Yeah, that's gonna happen. The only thing that makes me feel better comes in a bottle from the land of sky blue waters. Fluffy and Uranus, those two little festering fuzzballs. They used to work for me at my detective agency, jamming them through the paper shredder or into the fax machine. <sighs> used to be the highlight of my day. Fluffy and Uranus. What a pair of bright and sunny freaks of nature. If they were breakfast cereal, they'd be sugar-frosted, cinnamon toast-flavored, chocolate-coated gummy fluff tarts. Dwah! It's the Shea Bears workout video. Foam-filled creatures disgust me when they sweat. It's so... Ugh, unnatural. I'll need this. Sex and violence on television is good. This on the television is not so good. Fluffy and Uranus have been trying to convert those piranha fish to a passive way of life for months. I hope it isn't working. Are you two still having trouble training your piranha? Hmm. A baked potato takes five minutes to cook. Popcorn takes three. 
I wonder how long Fluffy and Uranus will take to bubble and blister. Are you two microwave safe? Or will you pop when I cook you? I need some fresh air. Air that isn't sugar frosted. I've got to figure out what to do. How about taking back control of your life and career, Duckman? Cornfed? Could it be? Come here! So I can kill you and use you for a kayak, you stinking rotten rat! Duckman, before you go into a blind berserker rage, get sweaty pink and stink up the room with the smell of wet feathers, let me remind you that I am disciplined in over 27 forms of martial arts and I know the exact pressure points to render you flaccid for life, and in spite of my diminutive stature, I can still punch harder than Mike Tyson on a first date. Think for a minute, Duckman. If I had really turned my back on you, would I be here? The only reason I'm still with the show and still at Paramount is because I smell a rat. And it wasn't the stroganoff from the commissary? I don't have any proof at the moment, but every fiber of my being screams that the new Duckman is a scumbag, and I eat a lot of fiber. Of course, that explains everything! This new Duckman is up to no good! That's why I was replaced on the show. No, the new Duckman just filled the void you left behind. You were fired because you never came to rehearsals, you ostracized all the producers and directors by acting like a total prima donna, and you hit on everything on the Paramount lot in a skirt. By the way, Mel still wants you to call him. Right. Well, how are we gonna stop him and whoever is in on this with him? We're gonna need a... Uh, what do you call it? Four letters, starts with a P, rhymes with flan... I've already come up with a plan, Duckman. I've prepared a 3,600-page proposal, which I have on microfilm or compact disc that... <coughs> Corn fed! Maybe I should just explain it to you using simple sentences and lots of pretty pictures. Now you're talking, corny old boy! Lay it on me slick and simple! The first phase of my plan involves your sabotaging the new Duckman's public image. Once his popularity wanes, he may show his true colors. While I continue investigating on the Paramount lot, you need to go to the opening of the new Duckman's Superstore. The new Duckman will be there in person, holding a press conference. Once you're finished, come see me at Paramount. How the hell am I supposed to sabotage him? Everybody loves the guy! You have to tarnish his public image. Find any dirt you can on him and publicize it. If you can't find any dirt, make some up. Something to stain his wholesome image in front of the press. Yeah, I can do that. I know all about how to look bad in front of the press. Go get him, partner. Nice neighborhood the Marshmallow Twins picked to live in. That might have bothered me once upon a time. I might have chased down that greasy-haired, pimple-nosed Game Boy playing punk and shown him an exciting new use for his turn signal. But not now. I'm on a mission. It's Fluffy and Uranus's mailbox. Just like everybody else's. Only fluffier and more Uranus-y or... Idiotic mailbox. I hate you, mailbox! Oh, wait. It's Hootie and the Blowfish I hate. Mailboxes I can take or leave. You know, Fluffy and Uranus' house is a candy-coated ray of sunshine in an otherwise bleak and desperate world. Where people will gun you down and rip your eyes out so they can sell the retinas at the eye bank. Why, it's the same shape as the glowing ship that used to hover outside my bedroom window and visit me as a child. Perhaps I can use this later in some unforeseen and heretofore unexpected way. Superstore my great granny's hiney. Let's just see about this. I guess you can tell the size of a man's insecurities by the size of his superstore. Why didn't he just buy a Corvette like the rest of us? Look at this place! An entire store devoted to selling junk with the new Duckman's ugly face plastered all over it. Why didn't I think of this when I was on top? 
What's the appeal with this guy? Sure, he's built like a brick pagoda, and his teeth are brighter than a dozen Osmonds, and he's got ruggedly handsome boyish good looks like Mary Lou Retton. But aside from all that, what does he have? If I'm gonna publicly humiliate this joker, this cutout might come in handy. Unbelievable! All this merchandising centered around one person? A person no one even heard of six weeks ago? This is insane! This place puts Twitty City to shame. Okie dokie, Mr. New Duckman, sir. I think we're ready to go. Uh, just speak into this microphone, but don't use your powerful super crime-fighting vocal powers. There are countless boys and girls waiting for the arrival of the new talking New Duckman super action figure. Now, let us record the words of wisdom that it will speak in my monumental yet calming voice. Fire away, sir. Remember, kids, it's not cool to burn down the school. Very motivating, sir. Let's try another one. Take two. Obey your parents, or I'll hunt you down and crush your windpipe. Ah, inspiring, sir. Take three. Remember, smoking cigarettes will kill you, and if they don't, I will. Frighteningly effective, sir. That's all I need. I can get the production line running now. Um, I'll be back in a jiffy. Have fleet feet, my good lad. The noble members of the press await the debut. In the meantime, you could entertain them with your phenomenal anatomy. A capital suggestion. I'll palpitate my pecs and agitate my abs for them. A couple of ace reporters. They're here frothing at the mouth, ready to pounce on a late-breaking story. I guess the bar's not open yet. What's the scoop, guys? You know, what's the skinny? Or the fatty? Or the... What the hell's going on here? In honor of the grand opening of this new Duckman Superstore... That paragon of justice and defender of decency... The new Duckman is unveiling his new talking super action figure. Which, in addition to reciting a variety of motivational sayings... Can sharpen kitchen knives and scissors, tell the correct time in 18 different languages, and uh, helps eliminate foot fungus. So, what's holding up this quote-unquote press conference? The, uh, talking new Duckman action figure. Which is being produced right here on American soil. Uh, in the factory located uh, at the back of the store, as a matter of fact. Isn't done yet, and it's got to be perfect. All the world is waiting to pull that string and hear what it has to say. It's an event of global interest, you know. Just look at him! 500 pounds of throbbing muscle being propelled by a brain the size of a peanut! No, 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 I need to sabotage him, not get flattened by him! Access denied this, you how wannabe! Processing image. Working. Working. Access granted. Welcome, New Duck Man. You honor us with your presence. Wowzers! I'm a hungry boy. Mm, but the New Duck Man is trusting me to get his new talking action figure done. And he did tell me to have fleet feet. But I'm really, really hungry. Except for that box of chocolate frosted Dingle Pops, I hardly had any breakfast. The new Duck Man will be really mad if I don't get this done. But today in the cafeteria, they're having mystery meatloaf. If you guess the main ingredient, you get extra gravy. I'm not superhuman like him. I need nourishment to do my job. I'll just slip off for a quick snack. If I were the wagering type, which I am, I'd bet that this button starts up the assembly line. Remember, kids, it's not cool to burn down the school. I wonder what's going on up there. 
I knew it. This is one of those rooms they add just to thicken the plot. Well, you can count me out. It looks like the finished dolls come out here. You know, this reminds me of that I Love Lucy episode where the girls are working on the candy assembly line, and then they get into a cat fight and wind up ripping each other's clothes off and pouring hot chocolate on each other's... Oh, wait. I'm confusing dreams and reality again, aren't I? It's a pack of Dento Fresh Chewing Gum! It's a book of matches. On the cover is a mail-in ad for opera left. It's my directory of 1-900 sex operators! No, the best thing to use on a button is your thumb. Obey your parents, or I'll hunt you down and crush your windpipe! Remember, smoking cigarettes will kill you, and if they don't, I will! Remember, kids. The likeness of that no-talent phony, the new duck man, on a plethora of plastic garbage. Garbage that should have my face all over it. I think not. Shoplifting is a crime in which everyone loses. And if you get arrested for it, you get tossed in a holding cell that smells like a bag lady's pantyhose. Then you have to beg your sister-in-law to bail you out. And she'll do it only after you let her toss out your treasured collection of Mammary Master magazine. The likeness of that no talent... It looks like the finished dolls come out here. You know, this reminds... No. It's a pack of Dento Fresh Chip. No. It's a garbage can lid. It's flat, round, and has... No. I'd like to drop an atom bomb in his shorts and give him a swift kick, but that would only make him... Great. I've been kicked out of my house, and now there's an electric fence and alarm system around it. Stephen Hawking Jr. left his toolbox chained to the electrified fence. Note to self! Mistake! The handle broke off this sprinkler months ago. It's hope. It's your basic gar- That's not gonna- It's a pack of Dento Fresh- Nope. I was a rotten father to my kids. It's no wonder I got locked out. I've got to win them back. How humiliating. Locked out of my own house. I feel like I'm 12 years old again. I've got to get back the respect of my family. Fluffy Uranus's ooey gooey can't... It's not fair. Why do f 
Maybe because we pay our bill when it's due, and we don't prank call college cheerleaders at all hours of the night, harassing them to see what they're wearing. I can't remember telephone numbers to save my life. Luckily, that's never been the case. It's my directory of... Here we go! 1-900-ROCK-MY-SOCKS! Hello, Lolita! This is Sergey. Yes, my spring buttercup. It has been a long time. Well, you know, Interpol business keeps me so busy. What's that? Yes, I understand that $99 a minute will be charged to this number. And please, add on a little extra for yourself. But, Mr. Duckman! What's my pleasure? Well, today I think I'd like the number nine. The Hugh Grant special. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, that's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Mama, tell me more. More! Just a little more. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! What a wonderful world we live in! Whoa! Uh, well, a pleasure as always, my little lemon souffle. Fluffy and Uranus. What a pair of bright and sunny freaks of nature! It's a pack of dental... Fluffy and Uranus. What a... It's a seemingly innocent household appliance, but the destructive potential is making me drool. Chop, blend, liquefy, puree. Sounds like my senior prom. Come here, you two. You'll look splendid, blended. That's one of those questions that people ask when they already know the answer. Uh, uh, what's that called? Rhetorical stuff huh let me in i got news about the academy award nominations oh boy the oscars i'll open the gate away wait a minute who are you trying to kid the oscars were last year get lost i need to talk to corn fed get him on the blower shamu oh he's not gonna want to talk to you the show's ten times more popular than it was with you on it. You're the last person he'll want to talk to. Come on, just move those chubby fingers and let him be the judge of that. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Mr. Cornfed? The old duck man is here at the gate. He says that he wants to see you. Yeah, that's what I thought, sir. Sorry to trouble you. Sorry, sport. He doesn't want to talk to you. Now, shoot! Duckman had to remember to do the sabotage at the Superstore himself. I wasn't going to help. I knew he'd be a better person and ride a little higher in the saddle for it. Why is everyone so crazy about this new Duckman character? Are you kidding? He's smart and strong and he has a neat costume and he fights crime. But who is he? What's his real name? 
Has he ever called the Psychic Friends Network? And he recycles, and he could do math problems in his head, and he uses public transportation whenever possible, and he can make balloon animals. All right, all right already! I've had tongue surgery that's been more pleasant than this exchange. I'm leaving. No, you're not supposed to... It's my directory of one... The only thing this guy could use is a healthy dose of moderation. And I'm fresh out. It's a book of matches with a mail-in cover. The only thing this guy could use... The only thing this guy could use... I shouldn't mess with their feeble minds too much. I'll need their support when I'm back on top. I'd like to drop an atom bomb in his shorts and give him a swift kick, but that would only make him mad. I think the key here is to sabotage the image, not the man. No way. No way. That may cause it to self-destruct in five seconds. Mr. Tonno Fun left this behind. I'm sure I can do some damage with it. No, that's just... It's the tape recorder from that factory making those new Duckman dolls! This'll cook the new Duckman's goose. Hello there, Bonita! I'm looking for a little... Auditory stimulation? Give me some sugar, baby. The recorder's hot. This must be good. It's the taper. Now we're getting somewhere. If I were the wagering type, which I am, I'd bet that this... Ah, this is gonna be great! Hundreds of thousands of new Duckman dolls spouting language that would make a sailor blanch. The controversy will ruin the new Duckman's reputation for sure. Hey there, are you steaming slab of manliness? I'm hot for you, baby, and I want you to climb on the caboose of my love train and make me spew hot steam. Oh, chugga, chugga. You're gonna make me so proud. I think one... I've taken enough risks already. I shouldn't mess with their feeble minds too much. I'll need their support when I'm back on top. This should make for some scintillating press. Ahem. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Thank you for joining me here for the gala opening of my new superstore. A place where people may come to buy things with my inspirational face upon them. And now, I am proud to present to you my newest item. The one I'm most proud of. I believe one of these fine plastic toys should be in every household in the world. I give you, for only $19.99 plus tax, the new talking, new Duckman super action figure! Hey there, are you steaming slab of manliness? I'm hot for you, baby, and I want you to climb on the caboose of my love train and make me spew hot steam! Oh, chugga, chugga! 
I gotta tell Corny about this! Psst. Duckman, Duckman, over here. I did it! As soon as the news about the new Duckman's porn-spouting doll gets out, his popularity will drop quicker than my apple stock! Bad news, Duckman. The story is out already, and it's not what you're expecting. It turns out the public loves the idea of a foul-mouthed toy for adults, much in the way they embrace the Sam Kinison see and say. The entire stock of potty mouth dolls sold out in less than an hour. Oh, great. That's just unfrickin' believable. What else could possibly go wrong? The lab called with your results. Expect painful urination. Duckman, look closely at the photo. See who's lurking in the background? Ted Koppel? Oh, over there. It's King Chicken! He's behind all this? I should have guessed, but with him being my arch nemesis and all. He's either got some manner of electronic device or a really stale cruller. Do crullers have antennae? If they don't, we've got some investigating to do. I need you here inside the studio to help with the investigation. They're hiring extras for the new Duckman show, so if you get signed up, you can join me behind the scenes. I doubt if Jumbo is gonna let me just stroll in. No, you have to be on his list. His list is his life. This card has on it the name and address of my agent. It also has something sticky from my pocket. Never mind that. Go see my agent and he'll get you on that list. My last agent dropped me faster than a cheerleader with an embarrassing itch. Let's see how Cornfed's agent treats me. Cornfed's agent is located above a plumbing supply store? Well, that's convenient, isn't it? But my career going down the drain. Here I am! And brother, do I need help! That's pretty obvious, Booby. Haven't you heard that Feathers went out with spandex leopard pants? Look, Buster, I came here to find an agent, not a fashion critique. I need for you to call the gate guard over at Paramount and get me on the list! No can do, Duckmeister. You may not have a reputation anymore to worry about, but I do. I can't just send any loser over there. I already represent the two Corys. You're ice cold right now, sugar. If you get a few legitimate jobs under your belt, that would change things. I could set you up with a couple of small parts. I'm gonna set you up with a small part in a minute, pal. Open hostility is out. Remember what happened to Mickey Rourke? Do as I say, and you'll be on the Paramount lot in no time. It's just two nasty little auditions, that's all. The only thing keeping me from strangling you right now is that I just washed my hands and Agent Scum does stain so. Okay, let's play it your way. What are the jobs? The first one is a television gig, so you'll feel right at home. A local station, KMUD, is looking for an on-air personality to help out during news breaks. It's a location shoot, and the news director will meet you there. That doesn't sound too tough. What's next? The second audition is for a live-action performer. It'll be like Broadway, only without the stage or the lights or Nathan Lane. A local businessman has built a theme restaurant, and he needs some sort of host or master of ceremonies. You get to wear a costume and everything. You'll love it! I can't believe this. I paid my dues. Lord knows I've kept in shape. I shouldn't be put in a position like this. I'm insulted! But I'm also desperate, so I'll do it. I won't like it, and I'll cry like that big fat baby Paul Sorvino. But I'll do it. Beautiful! That's the spirit! Go get him, Tiger! Make me proud! A sweet kid, but what a yutz! Champ spark plugs? Champ spark plugs were in the circus truck that crashed into the trailer court and trapped me and my family for three days when I was but a child! When rescue workers pried apart the wreckage, I was the lone survivor. I had eaten my parents, uncooked, in order to survive. Racked with guilt, I went on to live amongst the troglodytes in... Oh, wait. That wasn't me. That was a movie I saw on television last night. I can't get up there. And I still can't believe they replaced the copper bun suntan lotion billboard with a giant spark plug. Plumbing supplies? But this used to be a strip club. I wonder if that's the same hung low I went to high school with. Nope, now I remember. That was Hung Low Auto Supply! I wonder if they're related. Hmm. Cold takeout Chinese food. Well, at least this guy eats healthy. 
The fortune cookies are the only edible things here. <laughs> Not exactly my definition of what a cookie is. They want me to perform live? I haven't done anything live for years. Even my wedding night was previously taped. This place is great. It reminds me of the biker bar all my uncles used to hang out at. At least, Mom said they were my uncles. Hey, Fancy Pants, where's Jimmy Dante? I have to see him about a job. I'll bet he's a big, fat biker dude with only three teeth and bat guano in his beard. Unfortunately, I am Jimmy Dante. Not a fitting name, but my government friends in the witness relocation program are given to bouts of jocularity, and you must be Duckman. Yes, unfortunately, I must be Duckman. I'd much rather be Juan Ecuador, Cindy Crawford's personal breast masseuse. But that was taken. It took you long enough to get here, you wilted dillweed. Yeah, her old granny could have gotten over here faster, even after that horrible incident when someone accidentally plugged the power saw into her clapper. Children. Let's not drudge up any unpleasant memories, and perhaps the authorities won't either. Now, Mr. Duckman, you no doubt wondering exactly what this job entails. If it's babysitting Wednesday and Pugsley here, forget it! Oh, no, no, no. This is an acting job. The theme of this restaurant, as you've no doubt discerned, is Hades, or the Netherworld, if you will. We've been delivering pizzas for days now, but this part of the restaurant uh, opens only in a week. Diners will ride in a deep dish pizza through the three scorching levels of pizza hell. After descending through the third level, diners will be baked inside their own tasty pizza, which they will have to eat the way through. You've taken the wholesome concept of eating out and given it a bizarre twist. I like it. Indeed. Now you will be appropriately costumed as the Prince of Darkness, and you will torment and act as host to our guests as they twist along the path of the ride. In order to perfect your performance, you will be practicing today with my niece and nephew. Sounds like a Kodak moment in the making. You'll find your costume beyond this door. Give me a moment to prepare the children, then we shall begin. Now, children, I really must get this ride up and running. I can't afford another mysterious death, so please, no live ammunition or poisonous reptiles beyond this point. Okay, okay, come on, let's go. Yeah, I don't want to go through puberty in here. Dancing around in a burlap suit waving a rubber pitchfork really bites the crank handle. I got into show business for the chicks. Can we get this show on the road, former television dick? Hold your water, you little <laughs> sons of <clears throat> bitches. Welcome to Dante's Infernally Good Pizzeria. You are about to partake in the demonic horrors we like to call... Um... The Three Levels of Pizza Hell. I don't know if our prepubescent little minds can handle this much fun. Ugh. He looks a little like Miss Ramada, the lunchroom lady from back in grade school. She used to dispense massive amounts of pizza sauce, too. He's an ugly-looking spud, but as long as he does the job of topping the pizzas... Are there any more like you two at home? Alive? Nope. The two of you should be off getting an education, learning to become good little consumers. Isn't there school today? It burned down. If I don't get this ride moving soon, those brats are gonna squeal at their uncle, and I'll be terminated for real! Do you think we're deaf over here? You bet your feathered hiney will tell Unc, so get a move on.
This has got to be the switch that starts the topper machine. One push, and it's anchovies away! Prepare for the Troll Spew Pizza Topper! You will be drenched in a vomitous spray of horrific tomato sauce, along with some demented mozzarella cheese! And the meat topping of your choice. And now, let the topping begin! That was limp. I've got to fix this pile of junk to get finished here. If I can't get handsome here unclogged, I'm stuck. Big Boy here is supposed to vomit out gallons of toppings on each pizza, but he's all clogged up. It's your basic... I've got to use something to unclog this thing. No, that's not gonna... No, that... What about camp? Shouldn't you be at camp? It blew up. You kids creep me out. You're probably better off being scared. Duckman, you're done already. Excellent. I was afraid you might need some incentive. Uh, like, say, having your tender meat stomped on by Gene Simmons. No need for that, Mr. Dante. I'm still on the job. Be done in two shakes. Maybe three. A divine, all-seeing, all-knowing, mechanical fortune teller. My Aunt Stella had one of these predict her untimely death. Sure enough, 12 years later, BAM! Being where this is a slow point in the game, I should see what my future holds. Tell me, Lucifer! Will I marry for love or for money? You will burn in hell! This place looks like it was decorated by the same guy that decorated my old college frat house. Oh, those were wild, drunken days back at Animal House. Until Dean Wormer decided to... Oh, wait. I'm confusing reality with the movies again, aren't I? In a matter of days, I've gone from a weekly television series to this? How low have I sunk? Uh, sunken. I mean, uh, how low have I sank? Sank? Sanken? Sanka? I drink Sanka! Sink! Kitchen sink! I don't care! Whatever! This is pretty low. This ought to be exciting. I'm gonna be a reporter of news! I wonder if all reporters share a shower after a long day of reporting. Hello, Maria Shriver! I would love to soap your back for you. Hey, I know you. You used to be the host of Captain Piddle Diddle's Cartoon Hideout. Man, I loved that show when I was a kid. You bet your itchy Nielsen's that was me. These days, however, I'm the head of Action News Department. Are you ready to get to work? You bet! I'm ready to become a dedicated, action-packed, do-anything-with-a-story-on-the-spot news reporter! Just like Maury Povich. Except not so saggy. I live only to transform the world's tragedies into ratings gold! That's the right attitude, son. But this isn't what you'd call a fast-breaking story. But don't I get to interview puffy celebrities? Or drop down from a helicopter into a hostage situation? Or do a fluff piece on the new edible bikini wax. You don't. Earlier today, there was a small fire here at the Christmas Tree Museum. I want you to hang around in case it flares up again. If it does, we'll put you on the air live. While you're waiting around, go in and get some background from the curator. Okay, but where's my script? What do I read? Where are the, you know, the facts and stuff? Facts? You are green, aren't you? The first thing to remember is that if people want facts, they'll read a newspaper. When they watch television, they want to see other people's tragedies and be reassured that there's nothing to worry about. And one of the best ways to reassure the viewing public is to put on a happy face. Smile, smile, smile! No matter what a miserable train wreck of despair your life may really be. You news people are a spooky bunch of boobs. You have no idea. 
After years of falling, I finally landed in the hind end of America. A mobile news uplink station, capable of bringing the news, no matter where it happens, into living rooms across America. I'll bet it's a great little makeout wagon as well. It's closed. Great. And me with a hankering for some teriyaki beef jerky. This gasoline tanker is ready to deliver fuel to gas stations across this great nation of ours. To gas stations where just touching the key to the bathroom will give you a case of the drooping violets. I need this, I think. No, thank you. Luckily, I've outgrown setting gas stations and oil refineries on fire. Now, if I could just get a handle on my pension for peeping into retirement home windows. It's always been a fantasy of mine to dress up like a policeman and pull over a speeding fire engine. I'd walk up to the driver and say, Okay, buddy, where's the fire? It's an official firefighter's ladder. Me being able to get my career back is quite a reach, so I'll need this. I bet I can use this place to my advantage. I bet I can... I should go in there and talk to these guys. I just don't get the joke. So, the reason they wear red suspenders is to hold their pants up, and... Why do they have to wear red suspenders and not blue or tan? I don't get it. I should go in there and talk to these guys. I just don't... Not much point to that. That's not gonna do me much good from out here. I should go inside and take care of business. They call this a museum? I've seen nicer exhibits and bathroom stalls at Grand Central Station. This tree reminds me of a bad dream I had last December. I think it was the nightmare before Christmas. I can't. I don't know Jack. Seeing this tree brings back the memories. I remember chilly November afternoons in the schoolyard, mocking that little bald-headed kid and his snoopy little dog. I can't resist. I should give it a shake for old time's sake. No touching the exhibits, young man. Yeah, yeah, go climb into your permanent sand trap, Granny. And iron out that neck, for goodness sakes. The wiring on this one definitely looks like pre-Ralph Nader. Maybe even pre the naughty twinkle in Ralph Nader's daddy's eye. I can't get near it. The Geritol Guardian is keeping watch on it. I'm Duckman, Ace Action News Reporter. What happened here? And don't spare the ugly details, ma'am. I'm a trained professional. I'm hardened enough to handle just about anything. Unless it involves spiders or sweat-soaked shopping mall Santas. Oh dear, oh dear. It was horrible. It reminded me of that fire over at the shoelace factory back in 65. Or that really big fire at the fire extinguisher company in 71. It's no wonder there was a fire in here. This place isn't exactly up to code. There aren't even any sprinklers, or even a moist towelette. Oh dear, there's never been any problem before, and the fireman school is right next door. This place is a fire hazard. Whoever did the electrical wiring is an idiot. Oh dear, and that sweet Tommy Edison was such a nice boy too. Let's try to be a little more descriptive. How exactly did the fire start? Well, first there was smoke, and then everything got so dark, it was terrible. I knew when it first came out that this electricity was a bad idea. You wait, next that wheel will start acting up. I'm not happy here, Turkey Neck. Look at this face. This is not the face of a happy action news reporter. I'm gonna need some details here. Cold, hard facts. So cough them up, Cha-Cha. Well, if you insist. Oh, but I do. It all started when I was testing the lights on this tree over here. It used to belong to that nice young man in Waco, Texas. Yes, I'm on pins and needles. 
do continue. I was bending over, and a little squirt of denture cream dribbled out of my mouth and fell on the wires. Then there were sparks and fire and smoke. Thank goodness the fireman's school next door put the fire out. It's not something I ever want to see again in my lifetime. That covers us until when? Next week? I'm still not getting the full picture here. Do you think you could show me exactly what you did again? Well, I do have a few more doses of my heart medication left. I guess I could give it a try. That's the spirit, Granny. Now hop to it. As I said, I was testing the lights on this tree. And as soon as I plugged them in... Oh dear, oh dear, hurry! Save the trees! Someone call the fire department! You call this a fire? This is nothing! You just relax. I'll be back in a minute. Fire! We got a fire! What should I do? Makeup! Fluffer! What should I do? Not so fast. You're a newsman, remember? Now get back in there and let's try it again. Pretty darn lucky, if you ask me. A fire starting right out here on exam day. Do you figure we're going to get graded on this? Only if that fire truck shows up. We've got nothing to pump without it. What are we supposed to do, spit it out? The school's supposed to have its own truck, but those darn federal cutbacks. Okay, we're on. Let's get to pumping. I just hope this isn't a milk truck again. Live for the Action News Network, this is Duckman reporting from... And I bet I'm not on the air anymore, am I? Blast it! The wiring on this one definitely looks like... So, I forget. Oh, dear! Remember, you took the museum curator's oath to advise and inform when you took this job. And besides... Oh, dear! Oh dear, oh dear, my trees, my trees! Fire, what should I do? Where's my hairstylist? Get back in there and cover the story. Years of nothing, and then all this in one day. Weird, huh? Get ready to hook up. Here comes the engine. Boy, howdy, this is going to be a big entry in my diary today. Live for the Action News Network, this is Duckman reporting from... And I'm not on the air anymore, am I? Blast it! That's not gonna do me much good from out here. Not... not much... not... not much... not much... not much... This should dress it up nicely. Oh yeah, that's good. I need this. This gasoline tanker is ready to deliver fuel to gas stations across this great nation of ours. To get this gasoline tanker, it's cl it's cl it's cl I need. Until this fire flares up again, I think you and I should go over a few things. Yeah, right. Go take a nap in traffic. So, news is your life? You bet your buttons it is. Six days a week I eat, sleep, and breathe the news. And on the seventh day? I dress up like Jane Pauley and prance around the house with a broom I call Gary Trudeau. Silly broom. <laughs> It does make me laugh so. The wiring on this one definitely. This place is up. Oh. So. Oh. Remember. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Get back in there and cover the store. Years of get back. Boy, how live for the action new. And I'm not on the.
I can't get close enough to the tree to use them without getting a scrotum tug from Dame Edna. I would, but... I would, but Tim Burton would drag me down and kick my ass! It would rip the teeth right out of her head. And I really could die without seeing that. The only thing that's gonna help her is a bottle of... I bet I can use this place to my advantage. I bet... I should go in there and talk to these guys. I just don't... I should go in there and talk... I... I bet I... I... I bet I... This gasoline tanker is... I need this! I need... I need... I need... I need... Damn, can you hold your... Moth... I don't... I don't... The two... What a... You... 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 You kids... You're... That's where this ride. He's an ugly look. He looks a little. Duck. This ought to be exciting. Uh, you. You. You bet. But don't I get it? You don't. A uh, fact. And one of. You have. After you. Gotta get this. I probably shouldn't mess with this until I give it a try. I'd better keep my distance. I probably shouldn't mess with this until I give it. I probably shouldn't mess. This has got to be the switch that starts. Prepare for the trolls. That was. I've got to. I've got to use something to unclog this. Th I can't move on to the next level until I get this blasted topper unclogged. That's where this ride began. That's where. The You're probably. Be Duckman, you done already. <laughs> A museum dedicated to preserve. They call this a museum. That ladder's in rough shape. Not a chance. I don't want it. Nah. I'm. Oh, well. I'm not happy. Oh, oh, yeah. I was bending over and. A that covers us. A well, uh, that has a. And as. Oh dear! You fire! We got not pretty darn lucky if you ask. Only if okay. And there's no wonder there was a fire in here. This oh dear! This oh. this place is a fire. Oh. This place. Oh dear! The only thing that's gonna. I don't want to do that. No. That might excite the old handbag and give her another week or two to lift. It's your basic guard. The only thing that's going to help her is a bottle of... A museum dedicated to preserving... I may need to do a little bit of damage here, but not on the outside. I shouldn't mess around with him. He might be tougher than he looks. 
a mobile news uplink station. This gasoline tanker is ready to deliver fuel to gas stations across this great nation of ours. To gas stations where just touching the key to the bathroom will give you a... I need this. I think. I need... This gasoline tanker is ready to deliver... F it's a book of matches. That would make me the toast of the town, alrighty. But I really need to start a fire elsewhere. Pointless, to say the least. So, I forget. Oh. Remember, you took the mute. Oh, d Oh dear! Fire! What should I do? Where's get back in there and years of get boy live for the action news now. And I'm not on the air anymore, am I? Blast it! This place is up. Oh. I can't get near it. The it's the fireman. So, I forget. Oh, oh. remember? Oh. Howdy, this is live at and I'm not the wiring on this one definitely looks like this. Oh dear. A museum dedicated to preserving famous Christmas trees of the past? It's always been a fantasy of mine to dress up like a... I should go in there and talk... I should go in there and talk to these guys. It's the fire. It's the fire. Not much point to that. I should... That's not gonna do me much good from out here. I should go inside and take care of business. This tree reminds me of a bad dream. Seeing this tree brings back the I can't. I can't resist. I should give it a shake for old- No touching the- Yeah, yeah, go climb into your permanent- The wiring on this one definitely lo I can't get close enough to the tree to use them. Without getting a scrotum tug from Dave. No, she's much too old and. I'll need this to have even the. It's the. The only thing that's gonna help. The only thing that's gonna help. The only thing that's gonna help. The wiring on this one definitely looks like pre ra This tree reminds me of a bad dream I had. Welcome, kind sir. I am Hung Ro, your humble servant. The ancient ones are smiling upon me for directing you into my door. What the hell happened at Chubby Dick Strip Club? It was here just last week! The health department shut the club down. 
They say there was more bacteria floating around in the place than in a portal party at a Grateful Dead concert. That bites. Chubby still owes me for that time I let his ugly sister Hortense give me that scratchy lap dance. I cannot help you with rap dancery, but I can provide for all your plumbing needs. Allow me to show you the Frush o 9000. If it doesn't come with a busty nymphette shaking her chimichangas in my face, forget it. I'm on a mission, Chubby. Take a hike. Your frosted insult has little effect on a Shaolin master. Your pitiful language is wholly unsuited for the true communication of insults. Oh yeah? Well, so's your old man! Nee, 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 nee. Your yin and yang are not connected, winged one. And once again, your insubstantial English words have the bite of a dog with no teeth. Leave my mother out of this, Mr. One Ton of Lard! Ugh! Someone didn't realize that these are only here for display. Oh, it's just like the bathtub we had when I was a child. Long hours, I'd lay in it and play little splashing games. And then my mother would barge in and say, For God's sake, at least put some water in there! <laughs> this is the right place, but not the right time. Not here in public with everyone watching. I could never do that. I guess it's one of my shortcomings. That's not gonna help. That would be a big fat waste of time. Oops, I mean a big cellulite enhanced waste of time. The billboard company has a direct hotline to report trouble with their sign. How 90s consumer friendly. How politically correct. How, how am I driving? Call 1-800-GET-MY-ASS-FIRED! It's your basic garden for... Nope, this bad boy is gonna call for a more sophisticated approach. And I don't mean reading at Kafka. That would be a big fat waste of time! That's... Welcome again! Pedal it out your back door, Lotus Eater. So, you're on a quest for inner peace. I know where you can get a piece. Inner, outer, whatever you want. Fifty bucks! Don't go there, crispy fried duck. This is a family store. So, uh, what's the deal with the plunger on your leg anyway? You did know that you had one there, right? I mean, it's not like you're walking around with a piece of spinach stuck in your teeth from lunch. Yes, I am aware. It was a horrible accident. I was in hospital for weeks. Surrounded by beauteous female healthcare professionals dressed in those tantalizing white nylons? No, I spent all that time in the waiting room. I finally got to see a doctor, but when they found out I didn't have health insurance, they stuck me with this plunger. I took it as an omen and made my career in plumbing surprise. What's all this Eastern philosophy yin-yang crap? A Richard Gere and Tim Robbins playing ping pong inside your head? A coin has two sides, as does man, as does nature. What? The wind can gently blow the feather or topple the mighty tree. What? This is America, pal. Let's stick to the native tongue. English is the chattering language of the monkeys in the trees. Chinese is the true language of love and insult. Oh, yeah? Well... Ling sheng dong gak bing ding tsu bing. That is most amusing. Your face does indeed resemble a festering saw. Go ahead, laugh it up, sinking sun. As soon as I get the hang of your goofy language, you're dead. That remains to be seen, web footed one. Dwah! Speaking Chinese should be as easy as ordering Chinese. You just point to the menu and say, I'll have the number four with the red sauce. You want everything to be so easy. You don't want to work for anything. That's the difference between us, that, and the fact that you have a tiny little brain the size of a walnut, and I have a superior intellect. Ha! Huh. Pathetic beaked one can't insult me in a simple language like Chinese. Oh yeah? Well, um... Crying guess. Hmm? Zuck of Yes? Gok heck! 
like skunk with broken tail, you make no sense. Let's try this again, Kim. Crying. Hmm. Suck. Yeah. Oh, guy, a muck. Like skunk. I got you. Crying. Hmm. Suck. Yeah. Haro. Like skunk. I got you. Crying. Hmm. Suck. Yeah. Uh, like skunk. I got you. Crying. Hmm. Suck. Yeah. Ah, uh, fang fei. Like skunk. I get. Ah, uh, fang fei. And. Ha rong ping. And. A uh, guy a muck. Like skunk. I get. Ah. And. Ha. And. Suck a vreen. Like skunk. I get. Ah. And. Ha. And. Crying guess. Like skunk. I get. Uh, Ling Shong. I see. Harong Ping and Crying Guess like s I get Gok Heck. I see. Like skunk. What's all this Eastern fog? The wind. What? Dong. This is English. Oh, yeah. That is most Galahad. La that remains. Uh, I'm sick of you, and I hope I still am an hour from now. This is the right place. So, you're... Huh? Yes, why, are you going to ask me if I can stand on my own? Or if I can go fishing without a pole? Or if I can give your mother a lift? No, I was gonna ask if you were related to the adult movie actress, Swedenlow. So, yes, no, I get crying, hmm, hard, uh, hard, like, s I get crying, hmm, hard, uh, hard, like, I get crying, hmm, oh, go, yeah, uh, like, skunk, I get crying, hmm, uh, I, hard, uh, like, skunk, I get crying, hmm, uh, I uh, it has been said before, my father was very young at heart. I got you this time. Crying. Hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. Hard. Like. I. Crying. Hmm. Harong. Uh, God. Like. I get. Crying. Hmm. Uh, Harong. Like. I get crying. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Ah. Oh, go. Like. I get crying. Hmm. Gok. Hey. I see. Hard. Like. I get crying. Hmm. Oh, go. Yeah. Hard. Oh. Like. I get crying. Hmm. Uh, Ling Shung. I see. Gok. Hey. Never have I been so insulted. I am disgraced. Along with my family. Nobody disgraces my mama-san. Try this on for size, you soy sauce swiller! Take that, and some of that! And take home some more in a little cardboard container! Well, how do you like that? My reg was there all wrong. Sort of funny, huh? Yeah, real funny. Almost Gallagher funny. No, that makes about as much sense as the pickup line, My friends say I look just like Bill Gates, but I broke! How can someone who can't remember whether he has one or two legs be trusted to sell toilets? <laughs> nope, this bad boy is gonna call for a more sophisticated approach. That would be a big fat waste of time! Oops, I mean, a big cellulite enhanced waste of time. Nope, this bad boy is gonna call for a more sufficient. That's not gonna help the cause. The 
to book a matches with a mail-in cover. To book a matches with a mail-in cover. To book a match. This is an excellent opportunity to mail away for my free study at home opera lesson course. Luckily, it's a quick study program. La 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 Outstanding! With this newfound ability, no wine glass in town is safe. Look out, crate and barrel! Okay, light bulbs, it's just you and me now. Only one of us is walking away from here. What the hell? I'm talking to light bulbs! Oh, I gotta eat more salad. The billboard company has a direct. I can't read what your billboard says. All the lights are broken. You better send someone over to fix it. Well, look at that. I sure hope that roving pack of hoodlum opera singers ain't back in town. Now we're cooking with unleaded. What in the world y'all doing down there? Knock it off, you possum lit crawdaddy. This brake locks the bucket in place, up or down. Bless those clever Japanese. Y'all just knock that business. Cut it out. Stop it. That's company property, you horny toad swamp rat. That'll be enough of that tomfoolery, you hound dog looking ham hawk. What? Cut the heck out, you weasel. I wonder if that's the same hung low I went to high school. Oh, okay, so I broke them. So what? Hmm, clearly the work of vandals. The police should bring Ella Fitzgerald in for questioning. He may be dumb as a stump, but this repairman's got a nice truck. His parents must be so proud. Hey, how's the weather up there? Any signs of intelligent life? How about handing me down that big honking spark plug? Step back from the truck, civilian. It's company property. It looks like the controls for the repair bucket. But I bet my autographed and sticky photo of Harry Anderson that there's another set of controls inside that bucket. It's the fire. That would be a big fat waste of time. It looks like the control. No. Cut the Now That's G 
just great. Well, let me... Just gr Cut the heck. Finally. Now let's see what this baby can do. I can see my life dwindling away from up here. Well, that was a lot like my prom night. Anticlimactic and lots of heavy machinery. It's got Mr. Toad's blood. That spark plug is just what the doctor ordered. No, wait. The doctor ordered me to keep my hand. He may be dumb as a stump. He may be dumb as... Brother, you must... How curious. Well, that's a fine stopper. I'll call the police. A can of red spray paint. And a Spanomatic 9000 wrench! <laughs> Getting into the house. <laughs> this should turn the faucet on. Great! The fence is shorted out. Nope, no. Nope. All right, now let's see if it was worth all the trouble. I'll be steamed if all that's in here is an old Limburger sand. It's a book, The Easy Guide to Picking Up Women. How lame, how pathetic, how sticky. I'll be doing him a favor by taking this. I don't know how, but what the hell? Stephen Hawking, it's unoccupied. Void, hollow, barren, empty. It's hopeless. It's hope. It's hopeless. It's the Spanomatic 9000. I've got to... I have got to get this right. <laughs> Say goodbye to clog drains. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, wait, that's the next puzzle. Totally disgusting. Cool, huh? So, you're back for more ghoulishly tasty entertainment, eh? Like we really have a choice? We're stuck in this thing. Yeah, whatever. Well, be prepared to be baked to a horrifying crisp here inside... The Broiling Bowels of Beelzebub! So, get on with it already. Here goes, kids. This is gonna hurt you more than it hurts me. Which is good. Tick tock, tick tock, old dude. Get this thing happening, or we file a report with Unk and your ancient history. I'm calm. I'm cool. I won't kill them. Yet. I can wait a few more years until they're not miners. So, this is the maintenance room. Fiendishly clever. I too hope one day to be immortalized on lush black velvet in vibrant shades of glow in the dark paint.
I'm taking this. It's a celebrity that the public chewed up and spit out. Just like me. The pilot light isn't lit. Well, that's pretty simple. All I have to do is light it. It's the can of Sprite. Let's see. Let's see. A can of fire engine red paint. The cover is gone. Simple as pie. I wonder why no one's done this before. A bit of a draft problem in here, I see. Okay, I like a challenge. I'm not licked yet. Although if I were, I know just the person I'd want to do the licking. It's a pack of dental. That's a lot like my cousin Lee. It's the king of posters! Elvis and Glow in the Dark. The two... That's a lot like my... That's a lot like... I gotta get this oven working, or I'll be stuck forever here in Little Caesar's Underworld! It's a deadbolt. It's probably here in case someone wanted to lock them. Close, says me! I'm blind! I was warned! I finally got blind! I can't see it. Opens! This time I've got... Fine. Close! It's a book. Where is That's a lot like my cousin. It's a home secure dead. I gotta get this oven. Duck me. Say, what's that tingling? Yeehaw! Velvet Elvis lives. This puppy is all charged up and glowing now. I got a hand. I gotta get this oven work. Club. I'm blind. I can't see a thing. It's a home. Oh. I should put this back. The room seems, I don't know, empty without it. I was wrong, the room still seems empty. It is a little brighter in here, though. Close, says me. This is it. I feel that special tingle. And there's no livestock around. 
so this time it's gonna happen. Spank me for saying so, but now we're cooking with gas. Hold on to your hats, you little rugrats, because it's going to be a hot time in the old pizza oven tonight! <laughs> Welcome back! You couldn't resist, could you? You had to come back for even more ghoulishly good entertainment! We're baked into a pizza, Spud. We didn't have many options. Let's get this over with. Get ready to go to pieces in this, the final level of Pizza Hell! The Chainsaw Massacre Slice and Dice Ginsu Chamber of Horrors! Yeah, we're scared. If we weren't stuck in this crap, we'd be shaking. Let the slicing begin! Slice this, you loser! I should have killed those kids when I first started this job. <sighs> I'd be getting paroled just about now. <laughs> nah. Okay, big fella. Let's see if this gets your engine running. This is it. The moment you've all been waiting for! What? You're going to pummel yourself to death with a sock full of nickels? No, even better. The Texas Chainsaw Slice and Dice Ginsu Chamber of Horrors is finally ready to begin! Hang on, because here we go! Not bad. That didn't bite too hard. Excellent job, Duckman. The children are happily eating the pizza, and the ride is working to perfection. I don't know how to begin thanking you. You got a sister you can set me up with? A lonely aunt? A well-preserved granny? Unfortunately, no. But allow me to present you with my card. It has our toll-free number on it for prompt and speedy pizza delivery service. Just dial 1-800-EMBRACE-THE-DARK-SIDE. Hey, that used to be Ozzy Osbourne's telephone number, before he got old and saggy and a dove pecked out his retinas. That's my boy. I have other clients, sure, but it's you that makes me the proudest. You're the best, and I'm just saying that because that's my job. Feast your oh-so-talented eyes on this! I hear the chicks just dig horny men. Oh, I should have kept the costume. What the hell makes a person decide to become an agent? I can't take much more of this. Wasn't my making it through Jimmy Dante's and Duck man a -a ding dong If only it were that simple. Just trust me. You're a big lump of- Well, since you put it that way, yes, I'll marry you. Just go out there and get that new- The kid's a trooper, but what a schnutz. Should dress it up nicely. Oh, yeah. This should help the cause. It reminds me of the time that fortune teller asked if I wanted my palm red. I shouldn't mess around with him. He might be tougher than he looks, but with the... Uh, 
So oh. remember, you took. Oh dear. Oh dear. Fire! Get back in there and cut. Years of nothing. Get ready to hook up. Boy. Live for the act. And I'm not on the air anymore, am I? This tray reminds I mean, welcome to the opening day of the new Duckman Superstore. We had quite a sell-through during our first 20 minutes, but we do have a couple of items left in our nostalgia section. I guess before the new Duckman, there used to be this other dummy. Yes, there was, you vocational guidance counselor's worst nightmare. Now, what sort of stuff do you have left? Well, actually, there's only one product, and I've got to sell at least one, or I'll be in deep pookie with the big guy. It's called Wacky Putty. And it's in the shape of the old duck man, so you don't get much of it. And what you do get is soft and flabby. It's not good for much. I jammed a bunch of it up my nose to impress a girl, but it didn't do any good. Who can figure women, eh? Romeo here looks like he only gets dates when he works the late shift at the crematorium. Hey, mouth breather! How much for the wacky putty? Oh! A dollar eighty-nine? Hmm, kind of steep. I meant it was that much. Now it's just eighty-nine cents. Tempting, but I don't know. I'll throw in my employee discount. That'll bring the price down to thirty-five cents. Come on! Oh, gee, I... Mm, I was gonna buy a postage stamp later on. I don't want to be left short. I give up. Here, take it. It's yours. A gift from you to me. Just take it, please! He needs a lot of things, like a life, a clue, me. It's wacky putty. Good for making impressions of your fit. This might help some poor. Hey, Romeo, if you really want to pick up women, take off that stupid hat and give this book a try. Do I have to read it? No, Brainiac. You beat women over the head with it, and then you can pick them up and take them home. I'm going to score better than Greg Norman on a super putt with this. Here, have my discotronic hat as a token of my appreciation. Great. Thanks. And me without my can of lice be gone. It's empty. I won't be paying. The wiring on this. Oh, so remember. Oh. Oh. Fire! What? Get back. Years of nothing. And then all this in one day. Weird. Get. Bo Live. And I'm not on the. It's a discotronic light hat. I shouldn't mess around with him. He might. This will be a nice touch. That's also what Uncle Saul said. Now it's got emergency vehicle written all over it. Just like my inflatable sausage. Now we're in business!
So, oh. remember. Oh, de oh dear. Oh dear. The fire's going. This is going to be a good one. Well, get in there and inform the masses. Let's get this puppy into position. I don't think I've seen this truck before. Just hook her up and let's go. The teacher might be watching. Live for the Action News Network, this is Duck Man reporting from... The trade papers love you, Ducky Hauser. Here, take a gander. Oop, sorry. Holy smokes, I'm on fire! Here he is, here's the man! Woo, woo, woo! Good work, Duck Master General. You the man! I called over to Paramount and you're in! Go for it, dude! Many, many folds. Go on and check your stinking list. You know what's gonna be on that high and mighty, dearly beloved piece of crap sheet of paper? My name, me. No need. Just got in a memo saying the list has been discontinued. You look honest enough. Go on in. Look at the list. Look at the list. Look at it. Or I swear by all that's holy, I'll squeeze the cream filling right out of you. Oh yes, here you are, silly me. <laughs> right between dangerous psychopath and raving lunatic. Go on in. Home away from home. It doesn't look like things have changed much since I've been gone. Those Star Trek freaks are still filming on the next soundstage. Beam them the hell out of here, Scotty! King Chicken, please report to... Is this thing on? What? Yeah, I turned that knob. Hey, hands off! I was gonna eat that later! <clears throat> King Chicken, please report to your trailer and pick up the intercom. That is all. Over and out. Better be that insipid arms dealer. Oh, dread. What's that combination again? Yeah, what is it? No, you moron! I said I wanted Soviet tank missiles, not Alaskan king crabs. Buk, buk, buk. How am I supposed to conquer the world with a bucket of seafood? Give your nephew a job, she said. How much trouble could he cause, she said. <laughs> Bucking relatives. Oh, that was close. He almost saw me. It's a public telephone! It's teeming with more germs than Dennis Robbins pillowcase! 25 cents to make a stinking telephone call? That's too frickin' much! Why, I pay less than that for a night of tawdry solicitation. It's a public... Crab cakes! It's locked! And 36, 24, 36 isn't the combination. Hours of fun, and you can copy anything with it. I hope King Chicken makes a good impression on this. It's a public telephone! Ah, this is where the magic happens. The place where dreams come true and fairy tales come to life. Oh, well. Why, it's my favorite cranky old stagehand, Crappy O'Malley. How are they hanging, Crappy? They're twisted and hanging on the ground, you punk. Now get the hell off the stage. Crappy, it's me, Duckman. The real Duckman. Don't you remember me, old timer? Of course I remember you, you leaky colostomy bag. You still owe me 50 bucks. And can the old timer crap? You know perfectly well I'm only 29. Damn job ages you. Now get the hell out of here. They're not filming your scene yet. Choke on your own bile, you old fudge pot. Nah, blow it out your pie hole. 
I've done some of my It's the No, I should probably keep a low profile. It's a public tell Everything you could ever want to know about singing opera can I can use this number on any telephone to order stacks of sizzling pizza. It's the Yellow Dante's Pizza. I want what? King Chicken's trailer? Why, yes it is. And yes, that would make me King Chicken. Buck, buck. I demand to order a pizza. And I want everything on it. Onions, pepperoni, sausage. Buck, buck. I want every single topping. I want the world. And send some extra napkin. King Chicken, please report to your trailer and pick up the intercom. Note to self, mercilessly tortured gate guard. Now, what's that bucking combination again? Arr, what is this, a bucking joke? Some infidel let the likeness of my most hated foe upon my buck buck doorstep. I've crushed you, duck man. <laughs> I've stumped you flat. <laughs> what? No, you nitwit. No pizza. The only thing I've ordered lately is your wet and painful death. The combination that he had written on his foot is now in my hand. Now to find out what that heel is up to. This place reeks of evil. Either that or King Chicken had the fish for lunch. Let's see what sort of evil King Chicken is up to this week. Arch villains always lay out their evil plans on drawing boards like this. Let's see what that tub of corruption King Chicken is up to. He's insane! He's got a season pass to Looneyville! King Chicken is planning on killing my family on stage in the very next scene! So that explains why he makes so much damn noise when he walks. The new Duck Man is a killer robot! He's got a machine gun built into his arm and a beak full of bullets. Scene 14 is now filming! All actors in scene 14, please report to the stage. 14? That's the scene where King Chicken's hunk of junk robot is programmed to kill my family. I've got to stop this, now! Get your feather key stay in here, Duckman, and be quiet. Your scene is next. Look alive, everybody, and that means you, Miss Claudette Colbert. This is the new Duckman show. Episode 16, scene 14 tape is rolling, you rotten sons of bees. While the new Duckman is off saving the world, let's spend some quality time together. Yeah, turn on the TV, Ajax. <laughs> All this violence on television just sickens me. What am I gonna do? Nothing's a killing machine. I'd have better luck tackling a servant tank with a Phillips screwdriver. That could have been the bloody charbroiled finish to Duckman and his family, but luckily, this isn't that kind of game. While the new Duckman is off scale. Yeah. I'll need this. Changing channels on it. This isn't that tin plated mechanical pile of garbage thinks he's gonna kill the people I love? And Bernice? I don't think so. If it's the last thing I do, I got to stop. In a parallel universe, a universe where everyone has little goatees and clocks run backwards, that might have been the end of Duckman's family. But luckily, that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> All that 
truly valiant soldier would swap. Ajax, this is quality family time. Turn the television back on! Fortunately, through divine intervention or just dumb luck, that didn't happen. While the new duck... Yeah. Fortunately, through divine intervention or just dumb. Well, there's I. While the new duck man is off saving the camp. Yeah. Fortunately, through divine intervention. While the new duck. Yeah. Changing channels. I'm changing channels on the television isn't going to do any good. I've got it. Fortunately. While the new duck. Yeah. Chicken. Duckman, stop the insanity before I slap you silly. It's me, Corn Fed. Corny? But King Chicken, the kids, and Bernice! Well, the kids, anyway. King Chicken has taken them captive, Duckman. They've gone next door to the Star Trek stages. Let's go, pal! We're too late! Judging by their trajectory, they're heading into a low Earth orbit. We've got to go after them, but for the first time in my life, I can't think of anything because I've got this stupid Kenny Loggins song stuck in my head. Leave the thinking and the drinking to me, buddy. Corny, look sharp. I've got to get up there after King Chicken and rescue my family. Think you can figure out those controls and launch me? Duckman, your newfound heroism is both stirring and oddly exhilarating. Clearly, recent events have triggered a metamorphosis of sorts, allowing previously unseen facets of your persona to trickle through like the beads of sweat on the back of a freshly aerobicized Jane Fonda. Climb aboard, partner, and leave the launch into me. All right. I took charge of the situation, came up with a plan, and it worked. And now here I am. 20,000 miles above the Earth, with probably three seconds of oxygen left and no way back down. Maybe this taking initiative crap isn't so great after all. Curse you, Tony Robbins! Ah! 
I can't get there. There it is. The Starship Enterprise! The ultimate geek magnet! I've got to get over there and rescue my family. I can't get there. It's a pack of Dento Fresh. It's either the Starship Enterprise or a cartoon drawing of the Starship Enterprise. I should get over there and investigate. It's either the Starship... I don't stand a chance. I can't. Get there. <laughs> I am being so capable today. I see a problem and bam, I solve it. I feel like an action hero. Oh, you mean like that, Bruce Willis? I love his movies. That wifey of his really gets my crank to spinning, if you know what I mean. Spare me the details, Buck Owens. Hey, you're that sign repairman that I... Yep, but don't worry. I'm not sorry at you for launching me into space. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, since I've been up here, I made a tidy bit of money repairing busted down satellites and such. I just fixed up an orbiting death laser. Been acting up a bit. Look down there. See where Canada used to be? So, what are you doing now? Working for King Chicken? Sure I am. I'm doing a little fixing and cleaning up on his ship. It's kind of in a sorry shape, what with it being just an old movie prop. I'll take this. I'm the kind of guy that's always running into something that needs a good scrubbing. Like those filthy Wickersham sisters. America's filthiest Siamese strippers. This should do the trick. And out here, there's no chance of an old lady in a 72 Dodge running me over. Let me get you a dollar for your trouble, outer space homeless person. Hey, Jax! Good to see you, son! Now get the hell out of my way. Hey, spaceman. You look eerily like my former Dodd. Only you don't smell like old liquor. Hey, Jax, it is me, you ninny! I am your father! No! Now you're gonna cut off my hand with your lightsaber, evil spaceman that looks like my dog. Ajax, I'm here to rescue you! Where is everyone? And where is that tired handbag, King Chicken? You mean that fiendishly clever handbag? King Chicken's a lunatic, son! I've warned you about admiring madmen ever since you came back from Montana. Let's see. Bernice, Grandmama, Charles, Mambo, and Ajax! Huh. Something's wrong here. Don't tell me. I'll figure it out. You! I should have known. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! You silly, stupid man. I can't believe how naive you are. King Chicken, wearing a disguise. Who would have figured? Duckman might have suspected, of course, had he ever taken the time to watch his own show. That was sarcasm. Duckman viciously mocked King Chicken in high school, and apparently that festering ball of hatred finally erupted, prompting King Chicken to destroy Duckman's life and family. King Chicken? You fiendish master of makeup! You'd think I'd be wise to your disguises by now. You mean, after that incident of the parking lot behind the Rumble Lounge in Bakersfield? That was you? Hmm. You can really get a groove going. Now, wait a minute! Fool! I'm teleporting your family to the four corners of the ship. And then I suppose you're gonna set the ship to blow up before I can rescue them! Actually... But I hadn't thought of that. Excellent suggestion, though. There is apparently more than shredded newspaper in that misshapen skull of yours. Computer! Begin self-destruct sequence now! I'd rather not. Can't you two boys just talk things over? <sighs> no arguments, computer. Blow up the ship now! Well, uh, 
I mean, not right this very second. Uh, give me a minute to get out of here. Oh, all right. The ship will self-destruct in 60 seconds. Please fasten seat belts and place tray tables in the upright position. Good job, Duckman! And this should make retrieving your family a little more interesting. Or at least a bit more contrived. <laughs> Farewell, Duckman. If I didn't despise every fiber of your being, I think I'd actually miss you. But I do. So I won't. Ah! I can't believe this! That bottom-feeding jackal has gone too far. I gotta see if I can get the teleporter controls to work. King Chicken shot this thing full of lead! I hope it still works. Engine dead. Engine detonation in 14 seconds. I swear, you humans might. This ship will self destruct. This unit is currently experiencing. That really big blast I've been telling you. Let's see if I can beam that Hayseed Repairman in here. He might be able to help me. What in the name of Bob Vila's checkered undies is going on? Wow, talk about having your yin up your yang. This transporter keeps shorting out. I'll try to get you back to the way you were. Are you loopy? Like this will be the best dang repairman in the galaxy. Getting into all those little hard-to-reach spots will be a snap now. Don't know how to thank you, buddy, but let me start by having a look at your control panel there. Yep, this thing's shot. But I think I can get her up and running. Just let me scout around and get some spare parts. I think I got what you need to fix your upright chair. We're all set, buddy. Why don't you just go ahead and beam your family in here? Knock yourself out, Roy Clark. Fire away! It took you long enough. Repair of transporter circuits has realigned self-destruct sequence. Overload in 15 seconds. Quick, everybody! There's a shuttlecraft over here! What the hell is going on? You stripped the shuttle for parts? You melon-headed corn cob snipping dung heap hopper! You took apart our only way home? Hey, I don't need to stand here to get insulted. So long, and thanks for the anomaly. Since we're all going to be dead soon, there's something that I'd like to share with all of you. Night fever, night fever. We all want to do it. There. Oh, not now, Ajax. In fact, never. For the first time in his wadded up tissue of a life, your father is gonna do something besides being a drain on society. So how about it, Duckman? What are you gonna do? Engine overload will take place mm, right now. I think you'll all agree that this is a stupid way to die. Everyone jump on Grandma's chair, now!
This isn't all my fault. You're pathetic, Duckman. Get us out of this mess. Talk is cheap, Bernice. I don't see you doing anything to help us. I was thinking of skinning your flimsy yellow hide to make a parachute. What do you think? It's a pack of dento fr- I got us into this mess. Now let's see if I can save our skins. A robotic assassin killed Duckman's family, she says. You'll have ultimate revenge, she says. Good advice, mother. This situation is cloaked in irony. A latex form of our most dangerous enemy actually embraced us in his arms for a most comfortable landing. Is it getting cold in here? Is hell frozen over? Did Duckman actually do something right for a change? Choke on it, Bernice! I saved the day! And since it'll probably never happen again, I intend to make the most of it. Alert the media! It's time for a press conference! I'd like to thank the members of the press for getting here so quickly. It's a lucky thing that there's a bar just down the street. I'm certain, now that I'm back on top, that most of you are sorry for all the rude and ridiculing remarks made at my expense. Personal apologies can be emailed to me at www.suckduck.com. My life has forever been changed, and my errant ways mended. Yes, I'm determined to become a better father and a more conscientious provider for my family. Or at least I will be in a week or two. For the moment, I've got a lot of catching up to do, and a spoonful of urges to get out of my system. Careful, Duckman. The saucer is precariously balanced at best. If my former arch nemesis, King Chicken, wasn't currently flatter than my date for the senior prom, I'd actually thank him for giving me this second chance to realize just how carnal and wasteful my life has been. I dedicate the coming weeks of substance abuse and womanizing to his memory. <laughs> And there you have the whole bowl of hominy. That's the story. Not exactly Theodore Geisel, but then again this story has no star-bellied sneetches. Which brings us to the present and what I'm doing on this battlefield. In a foxhole, alone, scoffed and ridiculed by a nearby patch of pussy willow. But as Generals Patton, Westmoreland, and Electric were fond of saying, Hey, whole hog! It's my turn to frolic! No fairsies! Or perhaps Colonel North put it best when he said, What are you doing in there? Making bacon? Hurry and get out! I'm in the next scene and I have to search my inner little soldier! You'll be searching for an organ donor in a moment, son. While the Duckman sets are being rebuilt, Paramount is holding us all to our contracts. Bernice is executive producing a new sitcom called Who's That Bitch with Tony Danza and Suzanne Somers. Ajax is doing voiceover work for an animated series about voiceover actors who solve crimes while they're not busy in the studio. And Duckman? Well, he's starring in the next three Corman films. Not Roger. Harvey Corman. 
Not too glamorous, but it beats working the exchange counter at We Got's Tissues.